TNN. The Tiger Financial News Network. TFNN Headline News Update. Good morning, everybody. I'm Tommy O'Brien coming to you live from TFNN, 10 a.m. Eastern Time, 30 minutes into the trading day. We got a mixed market right now. You got the S&Ps just sneaking back into negative territory. You're negative by one point on the session right now. We've given up, though, about 25 points from where we were trading at just 15 minutes ago. The markets spike higher near the open to 45.20. We give up the gains. You're basically flat right now in the S&Ps. NASDAQ 100, quite the day yesterday across the board. You see the volatility early in the session down back up and we finish the day in negative territory right now you're basically sitting where we were at about 3 45 p.m eastern time yesterday markets dip lower overnight we reached 14,528 in the nasdaq 100 so you're up a solid 130 points from that price level but you just gave up about 100 points from where we were 15 minutes ago in the NASDAQ 100, the Dow leading the way in positive territory, up by three tenths percent right now. You got Bitcoin trading down above $500 at 43710 Crude catching a bid back above $91 at 9104 You get the gold contract with volatility in both directions this morning. Gold trading down $5 at 1832 Silver contract down 34 cents right now at 2318 We jump over to notes and bonds. We got a little bit of higher price and low, lower yield, uh, the 10-year yield still just above 2% right now. We were pretty decently above 2% towards the end of the day yesterday. The market claws it back, 10-year yield 2% on the dot, we'll call it. VIX right now, trading a back above 24 with some volatility in this market. We jump over to some of the companies with earnings. We got Expedia out with their numbers, strong numbers. Man, you open at an all-time high, you give up most of the gains though. We're still up 1.2% right now, but you're back under 200 bucks. Uh, excuse me, Expedia up 1.3%. They had strong numbers. Other company out with strong numbers. Zillow holding on to some of the gains up 10%, but you were as high as 59.08 last night on Zillow. And on the flip side of that, a firm buy now, pay later. Not quite paying off as they had hoped. You're down another 11%. And that is with them erroneously releasing their results on Twitter at about 1.15 yesterday the market tanks about 30 percent into the close you're down another 11 percent at 52 dollars longer time frame you're right near all-time lows on a firm stay tuned folks going to be an interesting friday basil chapman did his show live at 8 a.m that's coming up right now then we got fast uh excuse me, larry's live at 11 fast market live at 12 steve rhodes live at one dave white live at two tom o'brien my dad